pleasant. First time I met him, well, first time I saw him was when he had a guy up in front of him in 1947. Senator Baldwin of Connecticut was the chairman. They were investigating the Malmedy massacre. The Nazi uh, SS troops had just wiped out 50, 75 American soldiers that they'd taken prisoner in Malmedy and during the Battle of the Bulge. And the Americans subsequently grabbed a lot of these guys and prosecuted them. And they, they may, after a trial, they probably may have, some of them may have been executed. Well, there was a movement in Wisconsin. Why did they do this to the German troops? It was a shame that they did it. McCarthy carried the ball, and he had before him an American captain in intelligence whom he worked over. The guy, I think, was a, uh, a refugee, and so he knew German and all the rest of that. And he worked this guy over, and he tore the committee apart. He tore Baldwin apart. Baldwin subsequently resigned from the Senate, wanted nothing more to do with the Senate. And the, uh, the uh, captain walked out of the building. I walked out with him. He said, what kind of a man is this? Why does he make black, white, white, black? And I already knew what kind of a man McCarthy was. But I said, it's only politics. It'll pass over. Don't forget it. But I knew it wasn't going to pass over. That was my first. Uh, vision of McCarthy in action. Second time was when uh, Murrow sent me up, or I guess it was Murrow, see if he can get McCarthy's statement on uh, Marshall, General Marshall. So uh, I'm in the office with McCarthy. He calls his secretary, Jean Kerr, a very capable woman whom he later married, and um, says, Jeannie, uh, uh, Joe Orsp is here for that new dealer, Ed Murrow. Uh, warning that speech, you know, cheerful, cheerful, New Dealer. Let's see if he can get it. This is the same man a few months later or two years later who's going to call the leader of the jackal pack always at the throat of anybody who's going to fight against communism. Uh, that you made Murrow the number one uh, agent in America. He was a New Dealer, you know. He, uh, rattling off names and all that was easy on him. He was a tough buddy and he enjoyed the t tough joke. I'd meet him at parties, private parties that he had. Um, he was very quiet. It was not rambunctious, pleasant. Um, Put his arm around you sometimes with a greeting? I think the very last time, I think I put my arm around him. Mm -hmm. And I said, Joe, we got cameras here today. That was before the Sons of the American Revolution where he attacked General Zwicker. I said, be good. We're filming you. And he said, and he was good. He was mm -hmm. hot. And I think that was one of the things that really showed him at, at his best and at his worst, mm -hmm. I mean, which were intertwined.